Well, God bless you, Pat and Rail, and Power Greetings. Jimi Hendrick here, your success, confidence, and thrive coach. Today, I want to talk to you about this topic. Great leaders are. And I'm going to fill in the blank with six points. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. For time's sake, number one. Great leaders are admirable mentors. Okay? Great leaders, are you willing to be a mentor to help people get to where you are? At the same time, are you willing to find mentors who are leaders who can get you where you want to be? That's the top thing. Second of all, Second of all, listen, the, the best leaders, great leaders are in building teams. And in building teams, especially the way this, this degenerate culture is, we have to think outside the box. You hear me? We have to think outside the box. No ifs, hands, or buts. So that's that's where we're coming through. All right. Now. Number. Uh, here's the next thing. Leaders are great communicators. That's why I, I recommend Toastmasters. Toastmasters will teach you the communication skills and the accompanying leadership skills to help you get to where you want to be. See, that's, that's the thing you need to, to grasp and understand in here. That you need communication skills in order to be an effective leader. In fact, I think leadership communications should be a field of study in every college and university. Of course, will they do that? No. <laughs> but if not, Toastmasters is a perfect place to go for that. You need to be an effective communicator. When I think of effective communicators, I think of Ronald Reagan, John F. Kennedy, George W. Bush, um, in the business world, I think of John C. Maxwell, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Del Toro McNeil II, so many out there that have gone the extra mile and made the difference. Now, number four, great leaders develop themselves. Okay, if you're going to be a success, you have to learn to develop yourself as a leader. Because if you can't lead yourself, then you can't be an effective leader. That's just the way I see it. Number five. Leaders edify the team. In his book... How to Win Friends and Influence People. I believe it's in chapter two. If I'm, if I'm, I hope I'm, I hope I'm right. He says, Joe Carnegie says, if you want to win friends and influence people, you've got to give them what they want the most. Now I understand that there's tribes like <coughs> food, sex, money, but the main thing people want. It's appreciation. Show the love. You got to love the people. Love the people. You've got to love the people. Edify people. That's how you become an effective leader. Okay? Number six. And this is going to be controversial. I know some people aren't going to like me for this, but I have to say this. 
great leaders are people of faith. Okay? I believe that. I think when you take faith away from leadership, leadership is not as effective. You have to know these bullet points. That's why I developed Empower Your Pattern, the YouTube channel and the podcast. It's for faith-based mindset entrepreneurs and those in network marketing and the like so that they can find a common uh, safe haven to learn true values, to learn true core values, because that's a huge part of what being a leader is. I mentioned some of these things in my, my book. The Winning Personality, a values-based approach to entrepreneurship in this economy. Now, if you enjoy watching, if you like what's discussed here, please subscribe and become a part of Pattern Realm. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. I want you to go out there and build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others won't so you can have what others can. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really love you. God bless you, and have a blessed day.